I love America. And one of the best American pastimes is the backyard barbecue. Let's be honest. It is one of the greatest things that spring, summer, and fall bring to my head. Now, when you go out to detail your grill, you're gonna use a lot of the same products that you use to detail your car. That's why we're filming this segment right now. The stuff you're gonna to need to detail your grill, you're definitely gonna to wanna to use pressurized water. Now, whether it's a pressure washer, ideal, or a standard hose, you're gonna to have to blast this sucker down and go to town on cleaning it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cover on the grill, it's the easiest way to clean it. I'm gonna rinse it down and rinse some of the bird crap off of it. I'm gonna, I got pine needles, I got all kinds of junk all over this thing. I'm gonna rinse this thing down first. I'm gonna take our Eco All-Purpose Cleaner. This stuff is fantastic. For one, it's food safe. In other words, if you spray it right on the surfaces you're gonna cook on, it's not gonna make the food taste bad, it won't hurt you. Our Eco APC is an awesome product, very, very effective at cleaning your barbecue grill and cover. Your wash pad, this is our standard wash pad. It's not my wash pad in the best possible condition. It's one of the ones I've used for at least a dozen washes. I'm gonna use a bucket of water, I'm gonna take my wash pad, I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna spray the wash pad down now with some of the Eco APC. Then, it's time to go ahead and give this guy a thorough, thorough wash. Hold on to the cover while, as you wash to keep it in place. I've got most of this sucker all suds down now. There's a few spots now that I actually have some tree sap on. So, I'm gonna use our fender brush, our medium bristle brush. Spray a little of the Eco APC directly into the brush. I wanna get this tree sap off. I wanna get my embroidery there. All right. Then I'm gonna rinse it off. I've got a nice clean cover now. What I'm gonna do is give this a little shake, get a lot of the water off. Then, drying towel, my man. Take one of our jumbo plush drying towels. I just wanna give it a quick wipe. Just because if I dry it nicely and then hang it up, I won't have any spots on it. Are you serious, spots on your grill cover? Heck yeah, spots on your grill cover. You don't want that. I know I don't. Now, the chances are, you've probably got a metal brush for your grill, okay? Every time you use it, you probably give it a metal brush. Now, this time, however, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the grates off, because I wanna give them a really thorough cleaning. Then, on the inside of your grill, you may well have some little flame diffusers like these. I'm gonna pull those out as well. Lastly, you're gonna have a ton of crud down in the bottom of your grill. You got a couple different ways to get that out of there. One, you can use one of our brushes, like our fender brush, to go ahead and brush that stuff down and out towards the bottom. If your stuff is stuck on there real good, and you gotta blast it out, make sure you blast it out in an area that you can easily clean up. Sometimes I'll do it on the lawn, sometimes I'll do it on the street where I can blast it down. But bottom line, if there's some old food particles in there, blast it out of there before. You don't wanna do it after the grill's cleaned. I wanna go ahead and soak down the actual food touching grill parts now. Any of the grates that we're gonna put the food on, I'm gonna blast them down with the Eco APC. Blast them down well. I wanna let the EPC work on those grates for a few minutes while I do the rest of the grill. Same thing inside. Wanna blast this down real well. Cool. 
after thoroughly agitating all the baked on gook and grease inside of here, now it's time to get crazy with the pressure washer. I'm gonna need the pressure washer to really thoroughly cut through all of that baked on crud that I've been grilling all winter long. Certainly you wouldn't want to use just any degreaser when you're spraying down your grill brush, but the Eco APC just happens to be one of those that you can. The inside of your grill, depending on how long you've let it go, is gonna be a lot more work than the exterior. Also, if you grill a lot like we do, you meant to do this kind of thing every month. Well, the exterior is gonna be a whole different process and you're gonna wash it kind of like you wash your car. Take your wash pad, take your car shampoo, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, put it in the bucket, fill your bucket up, and now, just like washing our car, we're gonna wash this grill. And I'm gonna probably need to spray a little bit of Eco APC on some of the nasty spots. Like each side has a shelf with the stainless steel on it. If you've got a lot of really dark and ugly looking stainless steel, you're probably gonna to need to use a little bit of Eco APC to go ahead and cut that off while you're washing. You'll need something a little bit more aggressive than just car shampoo. I'm gonna knock down some of the really greasy spots with a little Eco APC sprayed directly onto the grill. The sides are always bad. The very front can be nasty. A lot of times the handle's nasty. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a bath. You notice I'm not even gonna rinse it down. I just wanna use pure suds so that I reduce scratching and I get the maximum amount of lubricity, lubricated washing as I'm washing so I don't cause any damage. I can pull the mega crud off with the least amount of effort. I can feel the bumps on this sucker and before I even rinse it down, I'm gonna take some of our detail spray. I'm gonna blast off the top surfaces. And I'm taking our clay bar, our Visco clay bar, and our little geo tool, and I wanna remove some of the really nasty baked on stuff that's sticking to my grill. Look at that. So I might be stretching and folding my clay bar a little bit more often doing the grill because man, oh man, is that thing nasty. Stretch, fold, stretch, fold. Okay, I'm washed, I'm clayed, now I'm gonna rinse. Cleaning process, done. Now it's time for the detail.